The premiere trailer for Jurassic World Evolution 2, the sequel to the hit park simulation game from 2018, has just been revealed to the public. And in that trailer, Jeff Goldblum once again reprises his role as chaotician Dr. Ian Malcolm from the film series in order to guide us on a brand new venture that will involve all of our favorite dinosaurs. There's been a lot of new information that's just been released about the game, so let's just go right ahead and talk about it. This is everything we know so far about Jurassic World Evolution 2. Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Now for today's video, we've obviously got a lot to talk about. It seems like right after all of the Camp Cretaceous and Dominion news, Universal wants to throw more Jurassic stuff at us in order to keep that brand recognition up and in the headlines. And I'd say they're doing a pretty damn good job with it personally. So first things first for Evolution 2. If you watch the trailer, you're going to notice two specific species of animals that were actually not in the first game yet did appear in the Jurassic World film series. These would be the Jurassic World variant of the Pteranodon, and the Jurassic World Mosasaurus, the latter of which was an animal that I know a lot of people, myself included, were really looking forward to seeing in Jurassic World Evolution, the first game, because it was such a big part of the second theme park. If you go back and watch the 2015 film, or really you don't even have to do it, everybody knows the Mosasaurus is one of the most popular animals like in the franchise in a long while, up there with T-Rex, Velociraptor, and I don't know, Dilophosaurus or something? Mosasaurus should have been in the first episode evolution game. But for some reason, it looks like they scrapped it because we didn't really get any sort of ability to craft a lagoon or pond sort of area that would really be of good use for the Mosasaurus as we saw it in the fourth movie. Well, all of that's about to change in Jurassic World Evolution 2, where they teased it at the very end of the trailer. And I gotta say, that's a creature that I think a lot of people are going to be really excited to get their hands on and play with once the game actually rolls out later on this year in 2021. I know a lot of us thought it would be premiering with Dominion since we're sure that a lot of this information is coming out right now because originally that's when Dominion was scheduled to be released. But no, the game is going to come out this year. It's not going to be pushed back to 2022 and I think that's only good for the Jurassic Park franchise as a whole. Now with the Mosasaurus, before I move on to the Pteranodon, I do wanna say, you know they wouldn't build like an entire enclosure specifically set up for this creature if there weren't other ones that we could add with it. So this is just a little speculation on my end, but I think that we could really get a good look at something like a Plesiosaurus, a Lasmosaurus, or something else that has to do with a very aquatic environment if we're lucky in the future. But apart from that, if you go back to Jurassic World Evolution, update, which was around 2020, I believe, for the Return to Jurassic Park DLC, they showed off the Pteranodons from Jurassic Park 3. Now, one of the reasons this was interesting for the last game was the fact that this is a Pteranodon that we hadn't seen in 20 years from Isla Sorna, and we never really got the Pteranodons that were in the 2015 and 2018 films, respectively. Well, that's again about to change in the new game, where we get to see the Pteranodon from the Jurassic World movie series in its full glory. So they're adding a lot of different variants of species and a lot of different versions of species that we know are in the movies but have yet to be seen. And this is also pretty well illustrated with something like this Tyrannosaur render. Now another thing to note about this is it looks like they have altered the Tyrannosaur's skull shape and actually the body as well. And I've talked about this ad nauseum throughout a lot of videos before in the past but there are different versions of Tyrannosaurus rexes in the Jurassic Park franchise that look radically different. The Stan Winston animatronic is very, very chunky. He's kind of an obese boy. If you look at this image of the animatronic versus all of the other versions of the T-Rexes we've seen throughout the films, you can see that it's obviously the odd one out, but it looks like they actually used that as somewhat of a model for this new image. I wouldn't say it's an exact replica, but it's pretty close. And they could have even altered the wrists right here as well to make them more scientifically accurate. Now, other things that Jurassic World Evolution has going for it as far as the sequel goes is something like the Coelophysis and Amargosaurus, which are two dinosaurs that a lot of Jurassic Park fans should be very familiar with. 
The first of which was in the toy line way back in the 1990s, and even though I guess you could say a Margosaurus was as well later on down the line, it's a dinosaur in general that a lot of people, sauropod fans included, have loved for years, and I have really wanted to see one in a Jurassic Park movie, and who knows, maybe this little Evolution 2 tease could have it set up for Dominion. Apart from that, the trailer opens up with this big stampede of dinosaurs, Triceratops, Stegosaurus, the Amargosaurus as well, and then you go on to this Jeff Goldblum sort of prologue telling us what we already know. Dinosaurs have broken out, it's looking real bad for the modern world, and, well, we're gonna have to do something about it. So going on from here, we can actually access the brand new Jurassic World Evolution 2 website, which has the tagline, A World Evolved. Now what's really cool about this site is they break down pretty much everything we really need to know about the game in a very basic form. And I'll go over even more species and stuff in a second, but just to get the gist of what we're going up against here, this is the following that they've released. Jurassic World Evolution 2 is the much anticipated sequel to Frontier's highly successful Jurassic World Evolution, building upon the groundbreaking and immersive 2018 management simulation. It introduces a compelling new narrative campaign, incredible new features, and awe-inspiring new dinosaurs brought to life with captivating authenticity. Together with expanded construction and more customization options, the result is an even bigger, better, and authentic Jurassic World game. Immerse yourself in a compelling and original Jurassic World narrative set after the earth-shattering events of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Take control with deeper management tools and creative options. Construct and customize new buildings and flex your managerial muscle across never-before-seen locations. And then you get to play with Chaos Theory, which Chaos Theory mode lets you play through key moments of your favorite films with a twist. Experience what-if scenarios from iconic Jurassic World and Jurassic Park films, which I'm going to assume is something similar to the Return of Jurassic Park DLC that I mentioned earlier. Now, they mention an original Jurassic story here, and I doubt this is going to be anything concrete in timeline, although I would really like for that to be the case because it doesn't actually look like we're going to be building a park in this new game. Everything seems to be set on the mainland. It's following the events of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, so obviously we're not on Nublar anymore. This is looking to be something of a dinosaur containment and research game, or at least that's what it feels like to me personally. Now, the ability to play through some of your favorite movies and different scenes, like I think it would be really cool to have like a version where you could watch the trailers go over the cliff in the Lost World, or maybe see the plane crash in Jurassic Park 3, or the mansion incident in 2018. There's all kinds of cool things they could do here. I don't know of any of that being in the final game, but what they're offering is pretty cool. I will say the biggest critique that I've always given these park simulation games, you know, they look great, they play well, they're fun for a lot of different people, but I've always felt like they're somewhat stuck in the 2000s as far as like just a, being a park simulation Operation Genesis successor in general. If they had one mode, in this game, and it would just be the game as is, same engine, same everything, just giving you the ability to be a person, like in Ark Survival Evolved. Just a normal human being driving one of the Jeeps with one tranquilizer gun and just going out there and doing whatever you want. I think that would have been just the key mode that would have sold me even more. Jurassic World Evolution 2 looks like it's going to be a gigantic success, but you guys know at my heart as a Jurassic Park fan, even someone that grew up loving Dino Crisis, Look, man, I'm, on all in, I'm all in on the survival horror adventure aspects of this game series. So if you could just tweak it a little bit like that, Frontier, one little additional mode to be Jurassic Far Cry or Jurassic World Survival Evolved, whatever. But yeah, that, that would make my day. And I'm telling you right now, I talk to a lot of Jurassic Park fans on the daily. It'd make all their days as well. Anyways, going on from there, we've actually got the reveal that there's like 75 species that are going to be unveiled in Jurassic World Evolution 2. They could even possibly some of the ones that we just heard get revealed for Dominion, like the Feathered Oviraptor, Moros Intrepidus, or one of the ones I think would be really cool, Quetzalcoatlus. Alongside Jeff Goldblum, Bryce Dallas Howard is also returning to voice Claire Deering, which is going to be really cool to also see brought back from the movies and something that was also brought back from the last game. It's going to be released for the PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, and I believe both versions of the old and new Xbox as well, but no update on Nintendo Switch. I would doubt it would be right off the bat because that's not what they did with Evolution 1, but you can obviously expect this thing to be on PC. 
Further publications state that we're going to be able to immerse ourselves at the heart of the Jurassic World franchise and see how things turned out when you're put at the helm of managing new challenges with unpredictable outcomes. These include things like all new flying and marine reptiles, which will greatly expand the roster of species we can introduce into the parks, and we'll also be able to see these prehistoric marvels seek out their own territories, fight and interact with each other in what this publication is calling staggering realism. All in all, Jurassic World Evolution 2 is probably going to be the big hit successful sequel that I'm sure everyone thought it would be. And I know I've gone over again and again and again about how much I'm kind of tired of the park builders. But look, man, all you got to do is add that one little mode to make me a little person that can stand in awe of a dinosaur. The God mode stuff is something that a lot of people have loved because they grew up with Operation Genesis or maybe even Zoo Tycoon. But for me, I'm gonna play the game, obviously. It looks incredible, I can't deny that, but just make me a little person standing next to a T-Rex, and I'm telling you, you'd make that much more money. Anyways, guys, these are all just my own thoughts and opinions on the subject matter. What do you think of Jurassic World Evolution 2, and how do you think it's going to go down now that it's pretty much coming out a year before Jurassic World Dominion? Whatever your thoughts and opinions happen to be, I'd love to hear them. In the comments down below. Now before I go, I'd like to thank all of my game wardens, as well as all of my engine executives. I'd also like to thank all of my park workers and engine hunters as well. Guys, it seriously means the world to me that you all continue to support what I do, and I never want you to ever forget that. Now, I'd like to thank you all for watching today's video and hope you all enjoyed the content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like and hope that you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in seeing me again. See you all in the next video, guys, and as always, take it easy.